Hi, so my name is Chris Davidson. I am a church planter here in the Merkinch area of Inverness. This is one of the oldest areas of Inverness. Uh, it was the last place, I think, in Inverness to lose its indigenous Gaelic. So this scheme has been here for ages, which means it's a very uh, community-based uh, area. People know each other as big family groups who have lived here all their days. It's warm, it's friendly, it's got good banter, but unfortunately it's one of the um, and put most impoverished schemes in Scotland. So I think one of the most encouraging things I find as someone um, makes it with these guys all the time is seeing the gospel click and starting them starting to piece things together themselves as we go through a gospel or Bible passage that God loves them and has come for them and now they have a response to that. Now the challenge is the response is the challenging bit, right? But it's encouraging getting guys there. I think for our church family, the most encouraging thing is uh, people recently have decided to move into the community to join our church, to be on mission. So they've come with the mindset to be like, I want to be part of this family, I encourage one another, be grafted in here, but also serve outward. My name is Gail Atanas and I am a member here in Merck Inch Free Church and I am the church partner development worker. So as a member of the church, I try and help out with the activities that we do for the community. So this week we are doing a uh, an Easter holiday club for P1s to P4. Well, I believe that it is important for godly mature Christians to move in to a community where they are um, involved in a local church it is very important. One, because um, we are called to witness. Um, it, and it's not just one day a week where we are called to witness, but it's an everyday thing. I'm Susie, and this is Ed, and we're members of Merkinch Free Church. In our early 20s, we were part of a church that met on a council estate in England, which is where we're from, and uh, we loved it. It had quite a lot of similarities with 20 schemes. There was a real focus on living in the local area, and that the church needed to be part of the community and needed to be um, needed to be a community that we were very much um, involved in each other's lives um, and we thought it was a great model for reaching people with the good news and it was also a great model for growing disciples. It was really good for us as well. There is a great need for people to come and join the churches. It would be great if everyone here was local, indigenously trained, could understand the culture, the context and everything else but that's not what we've got here yet. We long for the day when we're no longer needed because there's enough local leadership to keep things going on its own. But before then, we're doing what we can to support Chris, to support the work of the church with our experiences of being part of a church. When we, when locals come to faith here, they've got no awareness of what the church is about, what they've got no, no mentors, no role models to follow. They've got no practical experience of what Christians do, how they enjoy each other, how they enjoy worshiping the Lord. And as people who've been Christians for 10, 15, 20 years, we can pass on what we've learned from the Lord over the last few decades. And that's part of our aim being here. Um, yeah, so if you could pray for us, um, pray for conversions, pray for guys and girls in our scheme to be saved. Pray for us to be a healthy gospel church for this community. But also please give to us through uh, 20 Schemes. Uh, go on there, the give section, go down to Merck Inch. Uh, that would help us. Uh, everything we run, from our cafe to our breakthrough group, even to our Sundays, is actually dependent on people helping us keep the lights on. So we're thankful for every penny. Uh, and please, if you can, come, because we need people for short-term work, like come for a week or a month to help us do something specific. But more importantly, maybe God's calling you to come long term for a few years to move in to help us establish our church. Uh, so please, if you can, come. <laughs>